So where are we putting the second dick? Which one? The one, wait, oh. You're in cahoots with Corey and Carmen. In cahoots. Welcome back to the podcast with uh, the best posture, I reckon. I feel like we're both pretty pretty upright. I immediately slouched. I committed yeah, I to know. really good posture and then I was like, no. No, I can't. I can't. Staying like this, that's almost like a form of torture. Yeah, I feel like, like I would I would give only really serious British answers to everything. Right. And now I keep I'm gonna have to keep fucking with the the, <laughs> the microphone. Which so it'd be like, how was your week? <laughs> you have a really serious <laughs> British answer. Oh, did you chilly wink this week? Did, yeah, that's very serious. <laughs> Talk about Brexit. <laughs> have a good Brexit. That's, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I do say, okay. What a good, <laughs> what a hot start. This is, well, you know, after the last podcast, we were like, no, we're gonna get right into it. We're not yeah. gonna fuck around. This is my we're fault. Not, no, it's not your. How is it your fault? I'm. I can't not be awkward at the beginning of a podcast. I'm so <laughs> self conscious. It's like somebody asked me to play like zip zap zop. It's just not gonna happen. What with the fuck is zip zap zop? The improv game. I don't know what that is zip zap zap just any awkward improv game <laughs> it's all do you think that that answer explained <laughs> yeah. what that was well what is it well it's just, you zip and then you zap and then there's just that's, a little bit of zopping literally and exactly what like, it is yes it's like you go around in a circle and one person says zip and the other says zap i'm pretty sure the that's the whole game zop. yeah i think so is there even like pointing across the circle I like think why that, i think there is Improv is so stupid. Like, who invented this as an art form? There's a reason there's only one good improv troupe in America. And it's Second City. Oh. Everyone else. Don't they have a bunch terrible. of teams for Second City? Well, yeah, City. but I think they all suck. I really liked Ass Cats, but ass I don't think cats. I don't think they exist anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I've never even heard of Ass Cats. <gasps> That's okay. They were part of what's the one that doesn't exist anymore? billions of them i assume the big one the big one that was started UCB? by the snl people yeah ucb oh yeah oh wait uh who was in ass cats i feel like i just Everybody saw like a famous a poster it for it really it still exists no, i mean it maybe must. or is like a stand-up show based on ass cats That's or not like possible. i don't know maybe i was doing uh I just, what the yeah, internet is I? like trying to the internet's like did you mean assets assets <laughs> no hey, come on internet it's you know Carmen what i search for <laughs> yeah. if i was googling it then sure <laughs> throw assets in there oh no this is just giving me the current team bobby moynihan has oh, been shit. on it or is still on it i'm not sure yeah he's not on snl anymore huh. mm, so he's back on ass cat interesting Mm-hmm. What a but, what a yeah. journey! Because I think mm-hmm. he left SNL. I don't think he got like kicked off. Mm. I think he had Keenan Thompson status, where it's like, yeah, you can stay as long as you want. But, yeah, like I don't know, have fun staying up till five in the morning every night. Yeah, that must be that would be the hardest part for me. Right? I'd be asleep during the sketches. Like Keenan Thompson's got fucking kids. Do they just never see him? How does he make for that work? Sh- for sure, no. They definitely don't see him. <laughs> I know, right? like I know comics that get back at like one in the morning. They don't see their kids. Uh-huh, so, uh-huh. huh? Well, get back at us, Keenan. We'd like to know if you see your kids. His kids are gonna have to cry into their millions and millions of dollars <laughs> that he has for now doing national ads. It's hard to, you know. There's people literally going to war, and we're like, how does Keenan Thompson do it? <laughs> How does he balance his life and work? <laughs> Tell us, Keenan. <laughs> How was your week? Mine was good. I had a good week. Um, now do it British. I had a good week. I had um, some crumby crambies and there's a snogglinish on the disco. At a point. Oh, point. It's like borderline Australian. We had a discussion before we started recording. Not this time, but just in general of like, should we keep trying to lose any British listeners that we have? <laughs> and the more I think about it, the more I want to do it. Like the more, 
Like if we have, I'm gonna track because you can see where people listen to stuff. I'm gonna as soon as it Britain lights up, I think we got to do a whole segment where we just really try and really try and get them to leave. This is I'll do that with every country if you want. We're gonna decolonize this. this podcast. We're kicking the colonizers Americans out. Americans only. Yeah, and every other country besides Britain. Mm-hmm. I think I could lose Australia. <laughs> yeah don't ask me how they have a better sense of humor <laughs> i feel like oh, um, they do come out to shows but we were supposed to intro introduce who we actually are oh yeah episode one never really did that in the first one no i'm i'm cory tyndall we're doing the same bit as last time <laughs> Yeah, and I do the same bit in yeah. most of my stand-up shows. It's funny I'm again. Still, I'm still working on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new tag. <laughs> we have the same videos as last time. I just don't feel like we got the most out of those. So the it's just the same. It's the same episode. You got to hunt for the differences. Mm -hmm. It's like a Where's Waldo <gasps> podcast. That'd be fun. No, that'd be annoying as fuck. <laughs> But what if we did the podcast and then each show we tried to replicate that podcast as best we could? Like we wouldn't be able to. It would be hilarious. Like a speed run version. Yeah. We try and redo yeah. the podcast yeah. in like ten minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay. I could. Yeah. We'll, we'll do. That we'll add it to the list. Point. The list of ideas. Uh, email in if you don't want to have that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a bunch of emails even though we haven't released this episode oh yet. yeah we're gonna People as soon as the first two come out they're coming out at the same time uh we're it's gonna be flooded and not with the emails that we want it's gonna be like kill yourself your ideas are stupid who's even coming up with this um, if you don't like it it's Corey. yeah anyway her name's Corey. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> as it, we established, like, you fell right could, into that. My name could be Corey Tyndall. That's a perfectly reasonable. It is. Yeah, uh, it is. I guess my name is there. Are there male Carmens? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's really popular in, okay. in uh, Spanish. Oh, yeah. Countries, Carmen yeah. from the bear. Yeah. 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 All right. The, my suggested Halloween costume. I know. Too. I'm into that. Yeah. Going to costume shopping mm -hmm. later after mm -hmm. this podcast. I'm so excited for I that. Don't, I don't know what to uh -huh. I do. This will come out after Halloween, so I don't know. Really? So we'll know after. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going as um, Weird Barbie, obviously. Good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of Barbies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's going to be a ton of Weird Barbies. I think there will be, but I say that a lot, and then there's not. But I think there'll be a lot of Weird Barbies. Um, but you were going to go as a a Triton, uh, a sea man. Poseidon, I, be <laughs> yeah. I believe is colloquially his name. <laughs> the little mermaid's dad. I was thinking about it. I do like the idea King of the Triton. bear. Yeah, um, the bear's easy. Yeah, just a white t-shirt. Yeah, and you jeans. just go behind every behind. <laughs> 10 seconds. Hot, coming in, coming in, corner, corner. <laughs> Are you going to bring like a little pan with you too, maybe? I'm going to bring something? a gun and go shoot it outside <laughs> at the people in line. Uh, that's a reference to the show, not an actual threat. Uh, <laughs> here's the problem. We are, for Halloween, we're going to a rave, um, which hopefully... Define rave. It is like three floors of a hotel are being taken over by deep house DJs. So I it's like, that. it's not like a, oh, it's also going until like four in the morning. Mm, okay. So that's what makes it a rave. I don't know what the definition of a rave is okay. technically. Okay. But I feel like deep house music, uh, three in floors a weird place until 4 a.m. Probably later 4 than four. It just says late I on think, the poster. Yeah, I think they're kind of like a real organization. So four is when they'll have to cut it. I think a rave just goes. That's okay. what I think. There's no, the only end is when the last person passes out on yeah, the dance yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are walking out at yeah. like eight in the morning. You see them on your way to the bodega. Oh, yeah. They yeah, come, yeah They're yeah. coming out. They don't know what sunlight is. That's legit. Yeah. They, yeah. I've never been to one of those. I would do like a, a German rave though. Like if we ever go to Berlin. Germany? They if have, we ever go to Berlin, you do one of those all night oh, okay. raves. Yeah. Where it's just like that. people aren't even drinking. They're just on so many stimulants. Yeah. That yeah, that's not even <laughs> They walk out cheating, at nine in the morning which and I think like, is cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's cheating. It's if you can't you stay it. up until eight AM on your own, you you're not you're not a real rave 
Rave King. Rave Hound? What's Raver? Ravist? Oh, ravist. <laughs> <laughs> and you would know you are the queen of the ravists. <laughs> It's a combination of a, a ravener and a rapist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Here's but that's the problem with the costume. I can't go with something like that's huge and flowy. Like you were like, I'm gonna make you the most gruesome goblin king that anyone's ever seen. I just said and I, I could. Was like, yeah, and you brought and it up like four times. Gruesome goblin king. I was gonna make you the goblin king. The goblin king. The goblin king. In from my the mind, labyrinth. it was gruesome. No, you wear tight pants. You haven't oh, seen the labyrinth. You, no, I yeah. did. I didn't know what you were. Tri- what you're going. You want me to just be David Bowie? Yes. You want to put? A, you want me to put on a bunch of makeup? I saw my baby. It would mostly go, be eyes. Like right. I would do silver out, like little big old wingtips, and then I have the wig, and I was gonna give you really, really tight silver pants. Your boy doesn't have the confidence for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's not oh, happening. and then yeah, I guess you'd have like a blouse. For yeah, the, yeah, the top would uh, yeah. be a blouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't think anyone would get that I'm the Goblin King I from think the Labyrinth. Everyone would get that you were the Goblin King from the Labyrinth, unless that is an age thing. If you want to admit that we have a big age gap in this we moment, we are going to a rave. So people will know who I David Bowie's. Think the they Goblin will think King I'm just is. cross-dressing because that's like no. more common. Hmm. I don't think so. I think it's a really, really strong reference. Email us if you think. You agree. <laughs> the fact that it, you just said Goblin King and I thought like some weird little like creature. No, I even thing. sang the song. I have a hair in my face. Yeah, I, I don't saw remember my the song. baby. You're or always like, singing songs. You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. Oh, I do know that one. You're not chiming in. What power? Yeah, the power I don't of know voodoo. Very well. Oh my God. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's a call and response. I was like eight or nine years old. I don't remember the responses oh. or when they're supposed to come in. No, you were like negative age. I feel like it came out when I was born. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw it when I was like nine. Eight or nine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No chance. Jim Handsome. Yep. Mm-hmm. I do like him. Mm-hmm. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, so uh, we're, we're going saying... costume shopping. <laughs> costume. So email us and uh, tell 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 us what I should have gone as, and then we'll recap the rave next week um, after after this comes out. Although mm-hmm. that'll be two weeks after Halloween, we'll catch up eventually. Yeah, but um, mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I have to recap. <laughs> we skipped so the hard. Update. Over... <laughs> we did skip a little bit over who we actually are. Yeah. My name's Corey. I'm from Michigan. Um, I'm very tall. Uh, <laughs> I do stand-up comedy, kind of. The spots are drying up. They are. <laughs> we do. We're we're the hottest comedy couple that you've never heard of, which means we're not the hottest. <laughs> so, and I don't mean hot like looks-wise. I mean like traction in the industry. Oh, I'm always trying to figure out who the hottest <laughs> couple is sexually and comedy. sexually. Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Let's think about it. And we'll yeah, get it keeps back changing. To Email we'll us with who up. you think the hottest couple is. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we both do stand up. That's mm-hmm. you know we're doing this podcast. Mm-hmm. And uh, what what more intro did you want? I feel like they got that from the last episode. Mm, my birthday and social security number. Great. Is okay. Yeah, Carmen Legala. I'm from Vermont originally. I've been in New York City for like nine or ten years. Um, I. I had a whole intro. I went to the University of Vermont. Mm. I majored in English. So that was oh. a waste of my time. Yep. Uh, but I did run track. I'm a Hall of Fame athlete, and that also did nothing for me. Hall of Fame at the University of Vermont. Yes. I was so fast. So, so fast. fast. I just was running away from my problems every day. Successfully. <laughs> <laughs> the faster you go, the, wor- or the harder time anxiety has catching you. Uh-huh. And yeah, I've been doing comedy for like 13 years and um, I feel like there was more. I'm 5'9 since we're doing height. <laughs> I'm 6'7. I have super high anxiety. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't I'm even six, catch four. that. Uh, yeah, that's a good intro. Mm-hmm. I feel like I know you better. And we've been dating for almost a year. Yeah. 
Almost a year. Almost that's a pretty year. good. I feel oh, like that's, that's like the date that we picked. Pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there was a lot of not dates that we went on for when we could have picked, but apparently Carmen didn't realize our dates were dates. So <laughs> I count first sex, which is what okay, <laughs> which means we still are not dating. And uh, <laughs> no, it was like there. yeah, we went ice skating. She was like, "Do you want to go ice skating with me?" I was like, "Yeah." In yeah, my head, I'm like, "Oh, it's a date." Like, we're going on a little date. Oh, my goodness. Like six months later, she's like, that wasn't a date. What are you talking about? I was like, no. you're just inviting random straight men to go ice skating with yes. you? Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. You were like my little buddy. You were, oh, by the way, there's a huge age gap. Corey's nine it's years younger than I am. 18 years. <laughs> he is this is a super illegal relationship. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> I did dress like a child. I'm like, I'm, um, I, he's too young for Look me. Look at my little cloud. I have a juice box. <laughs> Clouds. Um, yeah, nine years younger. So I just thought you were like a little baby that wanted, I don't know, you were like fun to hang out with. And I was like, look at this little scamp. He wants like a, he wants I've a little mentor. I've never been scamp yeah, before. Even, yeah, six four I'm scamp. Six four scamp. Look at him just scamping I have to around. Reach up to to shuffle your hair yeah. around playfully. You're gonna like bend down so I can give you a noogie. Yeah. I was like, which one of my child friends can I set up with this little <laughs> young man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which of your friends were you gonna just make me suffer with? <laughs> All of your super normal and stable <laughs> friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thought you thought I was cool. <laughs> if karma's trying to set you up with someone, no. Don't don't listen to it. It's not worth it. Run. With all due respect to yeah. my male and female friends. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um yeah. I grew up in Michigan. Uh not a Hall of Fame athlete. In fact, uh pretty unathletic for the most part pretty mediocre at everything actually that's that's kind of my thing i'm like average at everything we play basketball together we have fun yeah i guess yeah Yeah. we're pretty mid i'm just like there's i don't believe there's a single thing that i like legitimately can't do but i also Mm kind of believe there's not a single thing i'm gonna be very good at so (laughs) it's like just mid baby what about skiing i suck at skiing really Oh yeah, I will die. It's just here. going down a hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just going oh, down a hell. Why yeah. don't you do it at and an Olympic level? Avoiding trees, those yeah. are the two things. Yeah, and every time I avoid a tree, I think, wow, I probably should have hit that tree. <laughs> I've only had one major surgery from skiing already. Oh yeah, <laughs> you have a giant scar. Yeah, I guess you're not great at yeah. skiing. Yeah, <laughs> giant scar on a metal plate. Show, show the listeners. No. That's for uh, Describe it. number six when we have sex on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to put me in, sh- in charge of the show plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to find good help over here. All the help keeps wanting to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it for the listeners, so I put that in there. Mm, so not on not camera, for, not just for, for the I listeners? just mean like we don't get to enjoy it. It's for them. <laughs> oh, so it's like normal sex. <laughs> okay. Kidding. Wow. Kidding. Kidding. Wow. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, folks, it was a fun while we lasted, but uh So we've been dating do for we stay um, together we for were the together podcast. for almost a year. <laughs> now we're split up, so now we're just sort of doing like a fun friend thing I, I, I where lo- we go ice skating together. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that a couple starts a podcast, breaks up after one episode, and then st- Still does the podcast. I would. If you're in, I'm in. I, all right. Sure. Yeah, I love the idea of that. Yeah. Like, it didn't just happen. Oh, my goodness. I, gotta, I have an update from the dentist. Oh, do you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, friend. Platonic. <laughs> Are you fucking the dentist as well? <laughs> Yeah, right after she cleans my teeth. <laughs> you have a girl dentist? I no, a girl dentist. No, I had a like I, I had a, a I dude a that couldn't have been older than twenty four years old. So yeah, they're I, young. They're all so young. Yeah, well, the older ones all killed themselves as they should have. <laughs> Highest suicide rate of any uh, of any profession. Actually, I think I looked it up and somebody had him beat, and I can't remember who it was. Because I was looking up that stat too, and then they were like, uh uh-uh, uh, you forgot about. And I was like, oh yeah, that one makes sense. And I can't remember what it was. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not who you that think it is. Google you think that it'd be again. like garbage men, or like that's what, they get paid a lot and I know. they're doing the best service possible. I, I love garbage people. Could not stand the idea of doing garbage, but I have a very sensitive sense of smell. Oh right, so I could I would do it. barf every day. What am I looking up? Oh, yeah. A lot. Suicide um, rates for suicide rates for or the most common. I think it was like veterinarians or some like male veterinarians. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. They don't Isn't get that paid weird? Anything. One Vet- out of six veterinarians has considered suicide. Jesus. Oh yeah. According to I've the CDC, heard that, that makes way more sense to me than dentists, because veterinary most of what you're yeah. doing is just killing animals, Those little babies, and especially like if you're smart enough to be a vet, then you could have made that hundreds of thousands of dollars being a regular doctor. And I think the men are like, boy, I fucked up. All right, mm. fucking, let's see what happens in the next life. Mm. <laughs> yeah, putting a single animal down, I'd be like, I'm next. Yeah, I cannot bear this. All right, I'll put this. It'd just be a chain of everyone shooting each other up. <laughs> like one person does the dog, and then someone else does that uh-huh. doctor, that vet, and then someone else does that vet, and then all of a sudden, nobody's taking care of the animals. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the... Why is dentist high? Because I I think feel like I read it was because they don't. They, they they feel like they're inflicting pain on people. People they like are. react really harshly yeah. to dental work. And also nobody listens to them. <laughs> I do. I get told to floss better every six months. I floss you know every what day. I don't do? Floss better. I floss enough. Why? Why wouldn't you? I don't know. It hurts. Mm. It sucks. My best friend was a dentist growing up and she had a magnet on her fridge that said, you don't have to floss all your teeth, only the ones you want to keep. And I started so flossing and never fancy. stopped. Yeah. Wow. Look yeah. at the indoctrination. Yeah. You got propagandized. Yeah. That's awesome. Magnets changed my life a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start buying magnets, I guess. <laughs> it's like <laughs> stuff about getting to work and like <laughs> yeah, yeah. get a job, and Carmen. Self- I'm like, wow, that one really speaks to me personally. <laughs> Early bird catches the worm and you're like, I guess it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, they keep calling. The dentist, the dentist keeps, keeps calling. calling, and I, I like part of it is I think people don't listen to them. They're inflicting pain, Wait, they're, and they're, also they're... I think they over exaggerate how important they are. They're always <laughs> like, "Oh, gum disease. It's the leading uh, uh, core. It's got a high correlation with." Heart disease, and it's like, yeah. Does. Or do people with shitty teeth also just live a shitty lifestyle and Ooh, die of heart attacks? That's a really like, good point. You can't. I don't keep your teeth. That's this true. Is a pro Nobody's like dental hygiene. My body's podcast. a temple, except for my mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's this true. Is, I I do CrossFit and I run 10k every single day. It's like my teeth. Fuck them. <laughs> you can't. It doesn't happen. I brush my teeth with caramel. Yeah, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, I should do it. Yeah. Anyway, I don't Sorry. believe them. I think they're hyping up their job because they're super expensive and mm-hmm. they need to convince people that they need to go every six months, mm-hmm. even though it's just brush your teeth and then floss like once a week. No, 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 no. Every day. Every day. At least once a week. Every day. Hopefully floss. every day. And brush for longer than you think you need to twice a day and do mouthwash. Mouthwash is key. Look at my teeth. They're pretty good. They're really good. Should I zoom in on your on your teeth <laughs> on the video? Just shoom. it's just your big old smile. That'll be the show poster for this episode. Just Carmen's teeth. Ding! I want one of those little twinkles. You have, <laughs> tell them why your dentist is calling though, because that's yeah. I know is. we got a recap from episode one. Yeah. I go in there and they just they did a shitty job. The flossing was dog shit. They didn't floss both sides of the teeth. The dentist comes in. He does the most rush rushed inspection I've ever seen in my life. Just like tink, 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 with the little like poker thing. He doesn't press down any of them. He goes back and he's just like sitting there. He goes, yep. So you got two cavities on these upper two back teeth up here. Uh, yeah, we've been monitoring them for a while. So yeah, probably going to need to get fillings on those, which like you think, all right, normal response, a little rush, normal response. Here's the issue. I was in six months ago. They told me everything looked great. And then, they didn't bring that up at all. So for him to say like, yeah, we've been monitoring it for a while. Like he mm. just pulled that out of his ass. Mm-hmm. He just wanted to, to me to come in and get two fillings. That is dental language. I've gotten that before too. We're monitoring this. Yeah. But like, give but me, mine give tell me, some me that they up. are monitoring. It. Right. I yeah. didn't get that first part. Cause mm-hmm. it was a different guy between the two six month, uh, check-ins. Mm-hmm. And then I, 
was like, okay, whatever. And then he immediately was like, have you thought about Invisalign? I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, well, you could get it through us. No, nah, I'm good. All right, well, you have signs of uh, grinding as well. So you can get a night guard like through us. I was like, this motherfucker's just trying to sell me. He doesn't mm-hmm. want, but he doesn't care about my teeth. Because you left a scathing, scathing, scathing. Yes, I know. Yelp review. I left that, all of that as a Yelp review. <laughs> they also tried to schedule two separate appointments for the two fillings so they could get more money out of the insurance company. I love that so, they found you. You didn't even do it under a fake name. You no, went under I was Corey like legit. Tindall. Corey fucking Tyndall. I was in here today. <laughs> Come get me. Tend Williamsburg. Do it. <laughs> And it's one of those fancy places. This is what I get for going to a fancy place. I was like, uh, you know yeah. what? I got nice insurance. Let's go to the place with the TV on the wall. And it's just no. like, yeah, they're going to get me. Going to get me. Because cavities, yeah. fillings aren't covered by my insurance. I still got to pay like 60 bucks for those. Mm. So they're trying to get 120 Actually, bucks. cheaper than I thought they would be. But still. Well, huh. the other part of it is that I had fillings on those teeth from when I was a child. But he never brought that up. So. Oh, they're replacements. No, they're not replacements. He just said there's cavities. I'm like, how could there be a cavity? Mm-hmm. There were fillings there. Mm-hmm. If they wanted to say, like, well, the fillings are deteriorating, then, like, fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. I could see that. But, yeah, left a scathing review and uh, mm-hmm. essentially saying all that and accusing them of insurance fraud. Uh, a little more said. It wasn't like they can't, like, I didn't say, like, these people are doing that. But I was like, it feels like these people could be doing that. Mm-hmm. And they tried to call me at 7.45 in the morning. Ooh. Three days in a row. Not picking that up. They called you at 7.45 three days in a row? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't they try what a were different they gonna time? Do? 7.45 a.m. is so aggressive. They probably would have been like, oh, we're so sorry you had such a bad experience. Um, uh, when are you coming to get those fillings in? You money pit piece <laughs> of shit. We want your green. <laughs> So you gotta oh. go. I can't wait for you to go to another dentist in six months and have them say all of the same shit. It'll be like nine <laughs> cavities. All right, I'll go back to ten. Mm, come to my dentist. I like my dentist. I actually stalked him once a few years ago. I was like, who is this person? <laughs> I want to see who he was, and I ended up watching like his wedding video. What? And it was really good. And I was like, "This is so sweet." <laughs> oh, I love watching people's little wedding videos that they Why? post. Okay. Because he was hot. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, nah, there it is. <laughs> like, mm, who's my competition? Could I get him to cheat? Mm, do you think he could have? Do you what? look like a no, cheater? No, no, he no, no, like no, no. a sweet man. Yeah, he had no vibes of cheating. Very good person. I haven't seen him in at least a year. I have somebody else now, I think. Um, You're cheating on your dentist because you couldn't get your <laughs> dentist to cheat on his wife? I didn't want him to cheat on his wife. Sounds I just like wanted did. to know who he was. You're like, wow. And if he was single, because I was single then. Two years ago. <laughs> the timing wasn't adding allegedly up. <laughs> oh so you'll stalk your future dentist husband but us going ice skating's not a day i see how it is i see on this uh show plan final eight seconds of wnba game yes i was not able to go to game four of the wnba finals between new york liberty home team and the las vegas aces email us if My you don't know what the really wnba like. is how dare you <laughs> you don't know what the WNBA is stop listening right now no. and then keep listening because we really need you to keep listening I was gonna say even though you are a huge misogynist <laughs> <laughs> it's women's basketball I'll educate you and then so yes we were down it was best of five at this point or we were hoping to get to game five but we lost game four in the final eight seconds I, I had to host a show instead of go to the game so I went on stage and I had the last eight seconds queued up just happened to be happening as I was in between comics. So I was like, we're going to watch these last eight seconds together. Live streaming the game. Uh-huh. <laughs> Live streaming from the back of the room. I didn't hear a single joke anyone told that night. But I kept going, <laughs> in between each person, I kept talking about the game and they had no idea what I was talking about and they were increasingly annoyed or entertained. But I brought it up on stage and we were down one point and we had possession of the ball. We brought it down. <laughs> Sabrina bricked a three. I don't know what happened. Sabrina's a player. Sabrina Unescu. And then John Quill Jones got it under the basket, made it. Ugh. 
and I was celebrating. I was like, we did it. We're going to game five. And so I looked at my stage. Yes. With the phone. Yes. And I'm like giving the so play by play. Into the microphone. We can Wait, give me a sample of the, the play by play. <laughs> I didn't know you were giving play by play. Yeah. I thought you were just guys, guys, watch this. Watch Ooh, this. No, we can show the video. Uh, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> so we can put it up here and we can do the audio. We can add it later. All right. Oh, man. And then I was celebrating and then I was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. We lost. Apparently that basket did not get in in time. No. And the le- crowd laughed harder than <laughs> at that than like anything I had told as a joke that night. <laughs> and then I had to and I was like, all right, your next comedian. And the next comedian was Brett Goldstein from Ted Lasso. Very, very <laughs> funny guy who had turned down front seat tickets because Jason Sudeikis goes to all these games. The guy who plays Ted Lasso (laughs) to come to my show. (laughs) Comedians You Should Know every Wednesday and Saturday at the Gutter Bar in Williamsburg. It's a very fun show. Yeah. I've done it once and uh, people decided that they shouldn't know me. So (laughs) I haven't done it again. (laughs) Um, I believe maybe I know somebody who can get you on. You? No, I'm probably doing oh. I don't really actually book it. <laughs> I think people don't believe that I don't actually book it, but I genuinely don't. I book my birthday show, mm-hmm. and I book Sam Ike and Tracy McClendon and Aaron Jackson, and that's it. Those are my responsibilities. None of those are white men for all of you <laughs> listening. Don't hit her up. I would never. The I'm show the is white already man all, she books. It, the show is already all white men. As it should be. <laughs> kidding <laughs> come to my very problematic show uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's oh and come we should plug your show male. too yeah i was gonna do that you, at the yeah. end oh we'll yeah. do it now because we're already doing it well we're we'll do off the for end, the next too. couple weeks so i'll do okay. it okay but I also it will come out for another couple weeks thursdays well this will this will come out yeah this will come out before the show is back mm-hmm. um but yeah, I got a show. I'll plug it at the end. Okay, but it's on Thursdays at Ferns. In Give the me the East play-by-play. <laughs> it's Ope. I want I want your it's recollection Ope. of the play-by-play, and then we'll put the video of the actual play-by-play up there. I can't remember who's bringing it up the court. I think it was Courtney. I was All like, right. Courtney Vandersloot brings it up, and I was like, oh, get some confidence, girl. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna need more of a. I'm gonna need more acting than this. And then I'm gonna I, be like, I'm gonna role like, play. I'm gonna goes, be the comic before you. So uh, I'm gonna be like, thanks, guys. That's my time. And then I got and then too you're excited. Like, they guys, passed give it, it up. <laughs> Do the role play. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I remember they passed really quickly, and I was about to say uh, Stuart's name, but then it was somewhere else. And then yeah, and then it was with Sabrina. And then I was like, oh my god, no. And then I was like, yeah, John Quill got it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We lost. I believe that's how it went. I. And then ha 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 ha. I love this because <laughs> it wasn't like on a TV behind. It was literally on, on phone her screen. phone. Like she's showing her phone <laughs> to a room of a hundred people. It's a big room. <laughs> None of them could see it outside of the front row. I think one person in the front row could see that it was basketball <laughs> on the screen. They could verify. This this does describe Brooklyn comedy though. They are sadistic fucks. <laughs> that they're like, oh, this real pain that this woman has is what we're gonna laugh at. I got oh, it was like a funeral after bits? the show. Not though. A g- after not the show, good. everyone was coming up to me and going, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> and then filing out. No one said good set. I had a good set. No one said that. They were all like, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. And I said, and also with you. Yeah. Oh, is it time for a... Is it time for a... Game? Game? A Carmen game? I, it's a Carmen game. Um, let the record show. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you do, though. And I hate it already. You will. I will. Because I chose for this game... This is my your least, least favorite, favorite game. game. I hate games. <laughs> I love this game. I invented it. It's called 3 two, one mm. So you make someone... <laughs> You make someone pick something in three seconds, and it's usually a pretty like, what's the name of your firstborn? Three, two, one. So whatever you come up with in that time, that's all the time that you have to come up with it. You you're getting a tattoo tomorrow. Those are the two that we've done before, mm. and you refuse to play the game. You've never actually played this game. I hate the game. I feel like half the reason you wanted to and agreed to do this podcast is. Because you knew you could get me to do this game. <laughs> Brian on played Mike. the game and he loved it. Yeah, I your know. best friend Brian played I'm the game. I'm not Brian, and he did a great job. Fine, at the game. then go sleep with Brian. <laughs> I 
want to play three, two, one with Brian. <sighs> Sorry, I can't be everything you want me to be. <laughs> Are you ready for the game? No. <laughs> well, yeah, the sample would be, yeah, um, <laughs> let's do the tattoo one. You have to, you don't have any tattoos. You have a tattoo right now. What's the tattoo? Three, two, one. A moose. Great. <laughs> yeah, you had like ski, you had like a real answer. You had like a good answer. Usually I panic and I can't come up with anything. Well, if I've thought about it before, I don't feel like it's in. Yeah, that's true. It's like not in the spirit of the game. I don't think you'll have thought of these. Okay. Was I supposed to come up with these for you, too? No, you were not. Oh, you're not doing this? Oh, you're not doing this? <laughs> you think about that ahead of time if you want to. <laughs> you wouldn't tell me what the game was. No, I, I could have guessed. I yeah. should just have these on reserve, honestly. I love these because um, you pa- you have to panic and then yeah, you come up with nothing. Good. That's why it's fun. But you have to answer. Are you going to actually play it? Yeah, I'll fucking play it. Yes. I, what do you want to just sit here and have a fight with you on recording? <laughs> we did it last episode. <laughs> we were gonna say we're gonna come on and be like that's not how we actually are we actually get along really well. we didn't. <laughs> Which, <laughs> you know what if there wasn't a little bit of yelling then it wouldn't be true to us <laughs> that's true we do get excited <laughs> it's all exciting we're not angry we're excited yeah yeah <laughs> This, I can't wait for this to come out. You're going to get emails like, Carmen needs to leave him. <laughs> uh, are you ready? No. This, yes. this one's my favorite one. I'm going to yes. start with it, I think. Okay. No, maybe I'll warm you up. I'm going to warm you up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to warm you up with like an easy, simple one. Um, you have... You're no longer Corey. You have a new first name. What is it? Oh, Three, God. two, one. Delancey. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. I love this game. What kind of name is that? Delancey. That's actually a really good name and it kind of fits you. What? Did you just think of a street name? Yeah. Delancey. Delancey. Yeah, you're you're definitely British now. Delancey (laughs) Timble. What a fancy name. Delancey Tindle. He does, uh, what's that horse thing where the horse like trots? Up and down, <laughs> horse dancing. The, oh, it's Delancey Tindall with his little horse dancing. His, his horse chosen dual leaper. Oh, when the horses do that weird. <laughs> yeah, they're doing prance. that little prance. How do they thing train to them music? to do that? Do they just whisper in the horse's ear? Can you look like a fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is my favorite game. Okay, you ready for your next? How many one? of these do you? Have? I have so many. <laughs> and i want to do them all um well, you gotta save some okay these fine will, these will be good for like guests and stuff i know but we can ask them the same ones they won't have heard this that's true yeah none of our guests are gonna listen to this <laughs> for sure not. can't wait to blindside them with games <laughs> you have an extra body part what is it three two one wiener <laughs> yeah right yeah Another... you gotta and where is it three two one My knee <laughs> <laughs> Delancey Tindall and his knee dicks <laughs> just prancing that's how I motivate the horses <laughs> now do I have to buy special jeans or like do I just kind of tuck it in how big is yeah, it yeah if you get a hard on that's gonna be <laughs> that'd be really it feels how like big bigger than it? my actual one but there's like no feeling it'd be like be yeah, really problematic know. on dates. It'd just be like my actual dick's up here. <laughs> like, yeah, but the knee dick. Get your hand off my knee. <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be so. My fun. dad just comes over. He's like, "Sorry, buddy." <laughs> Points it on my knee. If you had knee pain, that would bring a whole new. Oh, I don't know, you could probably just fix it. Yeah, just fuck the knee pain right out of there. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, where would be the best place for your dick be? another one probably yeah. next to the other one i don't know i don't know beneath it i don't uh, but like above it? i feel like if above it if it had yeah but if if it had feeling then you'd want it to be somewhere that you could have sex with two people at the same time <laughs> that's all you reason that in three seconds yeah <laughs> Well, not no. I'm just, just thinking of that now. With... I'm just thinking about that now. I didn't oh. think about that with the knee. No, oh, no, no, no. Mine, no. mine was a knee monogamous was off the top edition. of my head, or off the top of my head. Yeah, but like, would I have it on like my chest so that like I could also be filleted at the same time someone's on top of me? Oh my god. Oh wait, so I could suck your dick while I'm 
riding you. Yeah. Yeah. If we had sex. But you're like adding another person to this equation. You're like cheating on me in, in the game I'm not three, two, just one. In general, no, this isn't Which one of my me. friends this would you fuck in, in three? <laughs> <laughs> None of them. I love you very much. This is just in general. Like if uh, whoever, mm-hmm. not me, mm-hmm. whoever, where would be the best place for a second dick? Uh-huh. Where would you put it? <laughs> Your second dick? If you had an extra dick on you. If I had an extra dick on me? Yeah. I don't have one pussy to be and a with. dick. If you had a where would you put the dick? Where would I put the dick? You just like <laughs> detach it, put it on there. Where that's you a really it? good question. This is what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's really hard because you kind of want symmetry, but also I know. Well, like convenience sake, you want it next to the other one because yeah, I'd probably just put like, it above pants. Yeah, you can't have a dick on your chest. No, I can't. Yeah, I guess I would just have it where it, it where it traditionally has been, and then. Yeah, I mean, you'd be kind of in the way when you fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to bat it out of the way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I'd be turned on all the time. It would just be such a such a nightmare. All right. What's the next one so that you can... <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on the topic. <laughs> oh, God. You invented a new sexual position. What's it called? Three, two, one. Scooby. <laughs> I don't know. This game sucks. <laughs> this game's the best for this exact reason. <laughs> Take us through the Scooby. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. I think it's where you're <laughs> fucking someone and then you come and then you go, rut row. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! It like gets in her hair, and you're like ro ro raggy. <laughs> exactly. I want to hear more of your impression of Scooby Doo. Can you do anyone else in it? Um, like Scoob. <laughs> yeah, of course. Kind of all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. There's a oh. There's a. I can't remember what anyone else sounds like in that except shaggy. for those two. Uh, Just shaggy well, and Zoinks. Scooby. Um, zoinks zoinks that's when you accidentally try to put it in the butt <laughs> <laughs> the shaggy could also be that <laughs> rot row wrong hole rot row <laughs> what was it the scoob or the scooby scooby the scooby yeah um like scoob <laughs> that's the best i got <laughs> i think we got it i love it okay maybe i'll just do one more yeah. I mean, I want to do so many, but okay. Um, what is your, I don't know how to word this so that you'll get it in three seconds, actually. Um, <laughs> You're too stupid. <laughs> you, <laughs> well, it's, okay, well, we'll see. All right. What is your new sneeze sound? Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> You're right. It was self explanatory I don't know why I thought you'd be too dumb to get that. <laughs> Do that again, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too different from the real one. I'm gonna say I've definitely heard that one from like <sighs> from people's dads. How do you do a fake sneeze? A fake sneeze? I my favorite sneeze is a guy I used to roof houses with, where mm-hmm. he would go. It just be we'd be on top of a roof like three stories up, what? and out of nowhere he would just be like. And you didn't fall off the roof? Oh, I almost did a couple times. I'd be like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, That's man. That's terrifying. I didn't <laughs> like that so at all. so funny. When I was on the ground, I'd just die laughing. Because <laughs> everyone gets so mad at me. He's like, I can't help it. It's like, you can, dude. Like, you can. I have a sneeze everyone thinks is fake. What is it? It's, it's, it's like a little oh, one. Yeah. It's like a choo. You're like doing little beats. Yeah. What's yeah, it? and you do yeah. like 90 of them. That's the reason people think it's fake. <laughs> you just go forever. You're supposed to. And then you have a long pause, and then you have the final sneeze. The boss sneeze, if you will. I was trying to fall asleep the other night, and you, kept, you started sneezing. I was like, really? we might be here for a while. <laughs> it was only like four or five, which is pretty good. But like, but then I had to blow my nose. I think I remember. Yeah, reach out you did. Yeah. And then I found that tissue under the bed. So... <laughs> 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 yesterday during your clean uh-huh my Aww. deep clean i leave little treats and treasures around I know. the apartment she really does yeah um 
We got more show. Yeah. But I also have to pee. Okay. So let's take a break. And I and I'll do a commercial during it. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. He's almost gone. He's going in the bathroom. Okay, here's the real scoop. Um <laughs> it's hard for me to say. But um Corey actually does have a second penis. He doesn't know about it because he can't see it. It's on like that part of your back that you qu- can't quite reach. And I just don't know if I should bring it up to him or if it's even my business to say anything. But it does it does poke and jab when we're back to back in the bed. You know, that uh, position that you're in bed and neither one of you wants to snuggle. So you're just pressed away from each other. But sometimes it fluctuates as as he's sleeping. And I'm sort of running out of things to say. He's really taking a long time to pee. Um, he's flushing now. I don't know if you can hear it, but I just think that those are the reasons why we should break up. Oh, hey, you're back. Andy's back in cahoots. In cahoots with Corey and Carmen in cahoots. We're back. <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened while you were gone. Okay. <laughs> you know, I edit this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I don't know how. <laughs> I bring and the fun games. that's the reason we're not going to break up, because Carmen <laughs> doesn't know how to edit the podcast. <laughs> We each bring our own skill sets to the table. We do. Mine just happened to be a little bit more chaotic. <laughs> Existential. <laughs> Ethereal. Ethereal. <laughs> um, should we do... Um, mm-hmm. Well, okay. So here's here's how we got to set this up. Mm-hmm. So my, fr- my, my former coworker and friend, mm-hmm. Carrie, mm-hmm. who I hope will listen to this podcast. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how good of friends we are. Anyway, she's getting a dog. She's getting a new puppy. And she sent the video of the puppy. Uh-huh. And you know what? Let's play that. Let's play the video of the puppy. Yes. And then we'll get it. Put the put the headphones on. Okay. Here we go. I've already seen it, so cute. Oh. Hi. Oh yeah, he speaks. Hi. He's so he cute. He's so cute. No. Oh my god. He's a tiny. Describe the dog. He <laughs> just slammed into a wall. It's like if a mop uh, had so sex cute. with a, with um. I don't know another a cuter mop. A two a two mop. <laughs> now do those mops have two dicks or one dick? <laughs> um, oh, you he's like you're he's like black and white. Yeah. Little cockapoo. He looks hypoallergenic as fuck. Yeah. He's a mix of a cocker spaniel and a poodle and then some other bullshit. Um, so we thought, well, actually, she asked, do you have any name recommendations? Mm-hmm. And, and so yes, Carmen we and I went a little nuts on Saturday mm-hmm. and started coming up with names. And then we were like, you know what? We should turn every part of our life into a podcast segment. <laughs> so we're going to read some names. Do you yeah. want to go first? I could go first because mine aren't second. very funny. Mine are like very serious. Mm. Should we get, should we go you then me or should we like go back and forth? Um, I have a huge list where I just kind of went oh, off. Oh boy! Because these are like real suggestions I had. I really wanted to name it Ham. 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 Yeah. <laughs> just be like hi Ham. Hi Hello, ham. ham. Any ham. food is gonna be cute. Okay, that's true. Uh huh. What about so like short for Hampton? No, you're the one who did. Ham? You, you do don't, not force you don't this like on me. These. <laughs> I love these. You have <laughs> nicknames for every single one yeah. of yours. Uh huh. Mine are no that's nicknames. Mine are just their names. Pets. There's gonna be a secret nickname. That's a that's a spoiler for my list. All right, go, do do I'm your list. I'm just gonna list them real fast. Okay. No, I don't want to go real. I want to laugh at them. They're not funny. Why are they not funny? Well, Crunchwrap Supreme is Crunchwrap maybe. Crunchwrap Supreme is a great name for a pooch. It's such a cute name for a dog. Yeah. It's just like a little bit of beef in there with some lettuce and an yeah. extra layer of crunch. He's got sour cream in his sweet little coat. He does. This is so cute. This is a tasty, tasty dog. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Grumbo. Grumbo. Gruff. Gruff. Those are good. Picnic. 
picnic. Roomba. We both came up with Roomba. We both came up with Roomba. This I like Roomba because it's bonus points if she named her Roomba. <laughs> I love the idea of like the Roomba is named Richard and then the dog <laughs> is named, named Roomba. Roomba. <laughs> Richard. Richard. Biscuit. Biscuit's a good one. Mambo. Give Biscuit a biscuit. Mm-hmm. Mambo. Number this five. Is number one so if you, or five. Yeah, say if you yeah. have five dogs, it <laughs> becomes increasingly Mambo sad, but funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all> right. <laughs> we got... <laughs> burn, 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 burn. <laughs> A little bit. Of, okay. Baffles. Baffles. Yeah. I love baffles. Yeah, right? That's he a did, good this dog one. looks like a baffles. He the ran into the wall. Like it's like, scrambling. oh, baffles. Yeah, yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Scrimmage. Scrimmage is a good one. Mm-hmm. Come here, Scrim. Scrimmy Scrim. No shortening it. I'm shortening. Barnaby. Barnaby's a good one. <laughs> Haverdash. Haverdash. Shambles. Shambles. Oh, <laughs> shambles. shambles. cute? I like... Shambles. Come here, Shambles. Yeah. I like the idea that Shambles is like very well put together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little top hat and yeah. a monocle. And it's like, why'd you name him Shambles? It's, it's like, he had a big <laughs> life turnaround. Just a police dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> a German uh. shepherd named Shambles. Crenshaw. Yeah. Crenshaw. <laughs> That's a tough one because Crenshaw. the only Crenshaw I can think of is like... That's a proper dog. Like, the the senator or the house of representative dude with an eye patch but he's also like super republican oh yeah like his name is crenshaw dan crenshaw dan crenshaw yeah, never he's mind been on joe rogan a bunch never of mind but it's so funny that he has an eye patch i love that it so is, much uh him. he lost it in the war i would if i were a democrat and i was in <laughs> any meeting with him i would just come in with a peg leg or something like you have to <laughs> have fun with it right no but thank, can't thank, do that thank you for your service it's a disability damn <laughs> anyway um tabernacle tabernacle is a good one i like that <laughs> you'd have to be pretty religious for it but i, I don't think names. of tabernacles is like a religious thing anymore what is it isn't it a part of the church or something all the parts of the church are named yeah. so cutely but like it's the an apps, old the nape so, I don't care what the name is. It's like an old part of the church, though. Mm. It's like nobody, nobody says, like, "Oh, I'm sitting in the tabernacle." <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> yeah, <this> is... <laughs> yeah. if you're British, <laughs> <laughs> like Going school, we're tabernacle. in the tabernacle. <laughs> Tabernacle would be a great name for a bar. I bet it is the name of a bar. It is the name. It's the name of a bar that's around the corner. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> everything is the that's name of a I bar. That's what I think of is that bar. Yeah. Uh huh. Everything, everything, every word is a bar in New York City. Okay, jambalaya. Jambalaya. I like that one. And then there's a note below this. I'm pretty much done, but then it says buzzed, colon. So I think I drank alcohol and got buzzed and came up, came up with the business. The business. <laughs> <laughs> and scrambled legs. <laughs> Scr- <laughs> was this supposed to be eggs? No. But you know, you know how legs. legs are scrambling around? Oh, yeah, on the hardwood floor. Scrambles just a, for wah, short. Wah, 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 wah. Scrambles for short. Okay. Yeah. I like scrambles. Yeah. Oh, so you do have a shortened one. Just that one. Turns out it's not a bad idea. Just when I was buzzed. All right. All right. Give no me more yours. alcohol for you. <laughs> when was All I right, buzzed? Are you ready for this? I don't, well, when weren't you buzzed? Oh, I remember. I did a really, really difficult show in Jersey. Oh, yeah. Really far away for like <laughs> 400 really, 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 really old people. Mm-hmm. And it was silent they the entire it. time. I was kind of having a blast, though. When it's that bad, it turns back around and becomes fun. That is true. Yeah. Where it's like, the, I would rather have no, I would rather have everybody actively hating me than like four people really liking me. Yeah. Because then it's just like, you feel like you have to perform for those four people. Mm-hmm. But if everyone hates you, then it's like, oh, I'm none of this free. matters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm making money off that. I'm just going to go into autopilot. This is great. <laughs> All right, dog names. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. You're not ready. I'm you're ready. Blow your socks off. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing socks? <laughs> Put some I, socks on am, so they can be blown off. My toe is already coming through the end of one of them. All right. The hole is going to be bigger. Okay. These are going to blow your feet out of your socks. All right. There's a new phrase I'm coming up with. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. All right, Reggie. Aww. Short for Reginald Jacobs oh my, the Jesus Third. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Is this going to be every single one? Yeah, they're all very... It's That is a very well-established fancy dog. He needs fancy names. <laughs> not a fancy He's dog. fancy. <laughs> if he He's has a, a cocker spaniel poodle. Okay, fine. 
Cape Get him in a bow tie. <laughs> I want the dog in a bow tie. Mine are like shamble damble do. You're yeah, like Professor You've uh, got Unger Kung of the <laughs> Christanthian family. Hick dogs that have one <laughs> leg and live in the back of a barn, trying not to get kicked by the horses all day. Aww. Oh, that's scrambled. He's been kicked by a couple of big old mares. His brain's a little, a little woohoo. You know what I mean? Won't say scrambled. No, he won't say scrambled. <laughs> Is that how he got his names? No, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would scrambled? Because I like eggs. <laughs> you like eggs, Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Not short for anything. Oh my god. Um, Oreo. Oh, oh yeah. He does. He look does like Oreo. He's got the black and white. Looks short for Oreo McFlurry. <laughs> He's Irish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that McFlurry is Irish. Irish yeah. <laughs> I never, never thought of it that way. I'm gonna pull up to McDonald's. I like, either. Can I get you? Can I get you McFlurry? <laughs> I can't, why can't I do an I can't Irish do accent? Irish. Right? I can never do Irish. Oh, McFlurry! No, <laughs> damn. Why is everything defaulting? Okay, well, I don't know. We'll try later. <laughs> we will. Uh, Bramble great name Bramble. Yeah, yeah that's a good one yeah that's a silly one i'm surprised i didn't come up with bramble bramble's a carmen name yeah yeah mm-hmm. um levi mm-hmm. short for leviticus oh, jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> he is the book of leviticus <laughs> <laughs> another religious reference <laughs> uh-huh it just makes it makes sense um mr green because he lives in Fort Greene. Okay. It's like the idea that the dog owns Fort Greene. He would need a little top hat. Yeah, a little top hat, a little cane, Aww. bow tie. Yeah. That'd be cute. Yeah. Uh, Major Tom. Good name for a dog. From, but not in reference. No, it kind of okay. is. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's the David Bowie reference, but like, Your you know, if you Halloween saw a dog. costume. I feel like that would be a better fit for like a German shepherd or something like that. It's like you see like a big old German shepherd. You're like, that's Major Tom. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's our police He's dog. He's got a Not authority. Shambles. Yeah, sh- shambles the police dog. <laughs> this one's Major Tom and this one is Shambles. You're like, <laughs> all right, can we send in Major Tom to the fire? I no. don't know. <laughs> shambles is no, just going to. this gonna... is the buddy dog cop movie that we need to have. Major Tom <laughs> and, and it's Shambles. this little scrambly guy. This is the other guys. That's this the other, is, yeah. This turned Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell into dogs and it's Major Tom and Shambles. <laughs> Shambles, scrambles. It's probably would sell. Is it shambles or scrambles? I I think I had I had both had shambles and mm. scrambled legs. Scrambled legs. <clears throat> That's right. Um, Izzy, mm-hmm. short for Israel Palestine conflict. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's topical. I was so ready to be like, what a boring name for a dog. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a great name for a dog. <laughs> I think that we, you know, it's about um, like being uh, aware. It's about awareness. <laughs> we got to keep things aware. Um, <laughs> um, Lincoln, mm-hmm. short for uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68505, P.O. Box 415. Whose address is that? I don't know. <laughs> But I hope it's somebody. <laughs> yeah. Someone's like, hey, they're doing it on air. <laughs> we have one listener. Send just some happens mail to, to Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska, P.O. Box 505. Or sorry, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68505, P.O. Box 451. And uh, see if you get a return to sender. <laughs> you would. That's I don't know. It could be there. <laughs> okay. We're going to try it. We're gonna we try didn't it. do an exact address. So maybe the mail yeah. will just figure it out, you know? <laughs> I love when that happens. Like, how did this get here? Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> um, Maddie. Short, Short for, for Maddie Ukraine and Russia. 9-11. What, is, what horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had you guess what these were. <laughs> Short for Madeline. Um, short for uh, March Madness Tournament. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the best time of the year. Fuck Maddie Christmas. is short for March Madness Tournament? Yeah, it's like madness. Okay, actually. Maddie. Okay, yeah, yeah, March yeah. March Madness yeah. Tournament. Okay, okay, okay. Are you shitting on my name? <laughs> Don't do this. All our ideas <clears throat> are beautiful. <laughs> um, and then uh, Kirkland of the signature. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other Kirkland? I know some people with the last name of Kirkland. Kirkland, it also is the name of the town, isn't it? Mm-hmm. In yeah, in Washington, it could and, be a name. I yeah. thought about Kirk, mm-hmm. but I knew you were gonna figure out it was short for Kirkland signature. <laughs> you overestimate <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I mean, I definitely would have gotten Izzy about the other ones. Yeah. Though. Anyway, email in telling us uh, your dog name ideas and uh, that my ideas were better. <laughs> Please tell us that. I like that. Um, great. Looks like it's time to have sex. Yep. For the listeners. Just for the listeners. Yep. Yeah. So where are we putting the second dick? Which one? The one, wait, oh. The knee dick or knee is dick? it like going somewhere else? I wonder how many times with your knee dick if that I had sex with it before you were like, hey, can we get back to my regular dick? If I was like <laughs> obsessed. It fully, it fully depends on how much feeling I have in the knee dick. As much as, you're, as, much same, as regular. Yeah. If it's the same, then I don't. Oh, yeah. I guess you wouldn't really care. care. Um, the issue would be like how tired my leg would get. What from if you like, feel nothing? Then I'd be like pretty annoyed of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think at that point I just have it chopped off. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, because like why? Okay, I gotta find a happy medium. Or I join the circus. <laughs> if it's like half sensitivity, they would not allow you in the circus. Why not? Just put me in the middle of a ring and be like, "This man has a knee dick," and everyone would be like, "Ooh!" Kids and would throw be like, coins at "We me. don't know if this is normal or not." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, throw coins at you. Yeah, doubloons. <laughs> what was the amount the shekels you shekels. didn't think shekels were yeah, real yeah I didn't believe shekels were real so funny you know what but I, I learned I listened I learned <laughs> and I learned more about and going it going forward we will do better mm-hmm. yeah um okay Ooh. we got like 15 minutes left okay I think we do we some videos yeah, we can't do and anything we, we save we save some hard we questions we save seven for later but this is yeah. gonna be like the the piece de resistance when we actually do that one it's gonna blow people's minds it's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. We can't blow our load in the first couple of episodes. You don't think so? I think we need to rope people in. What do I you mean? I think if anything, they're going to be like, wow, they didn't get to anything interesting. I feel like this like, was at least a B question. minus episode. This is a very, this is fun. I would keep I'm, listening I'm just because time. our voices sound nice on the <laughs> microphone. They do. Your audio work I is so know. good. Yeah. In real life, we actually sound like this, but I'm pretty good at editing. <laughs> I'm like this. See how horrible that was when we turned that off? Oh, welcome to Anchorage. Oh. <laughs> Just always Yurika, have a little bile. Korea, Carmen. <laughs> That's my real voice. Google's Marvel voice. Hot. Video segment. Video segment. Mm-hmm. Put the headphones back okay. on. Is this a video I've seen? No. You've never seen any of these videos. I got three videos. Any of these videos. Yeah. Okay. As as we said in episode one, we got some videos. Mm-hmm. We recommend you go watch the the podcast on YouTube. But if you're not doing YouTube, then uh, these should the, be they should be you know there's there's good audio. Mm-hmm. Imagine what's happening in the video. Can I have some of your water? Oh my god. Sorry to interrupt, but I really yeah. got thirsty. Thank you. I guess. Jesus Christ. Hmm? You ready? Uh-huh. I don't remember what order we are going to do these. In. Oh, here we go. All right. So the video for this for the listeners mm-hmm. is just a cat sitting mm-hmm. on top of a car. Oh, I think I know this one. I just want to be clear. You're upset because we made friends with your cat. You're unreasonable people. You're holding our cat. Go in your yard <laughs> and say, Mercury, go home. Don't come in our yard anymore. She- I love the idea that he's just... The cat is visiting somebody else. Oh, hanging out in his, hanging out in his yard. And the neighbor is mad because the, the neighbor cat's in their like, yard instead of his yard. Tell the cat to stop hanging out with you. And the dude's <laughs> like, "What? It's a fucking cat. You can't." <laughs> the cat loves the neighbor more than he loves, and so the the neighbor is like freaking out at the two at the two people beautiful level of jealousy it really is it's just like how insecure are you this isn't about insecurity what do you mean there's no way that's what people always say like you need to get better self-esteem to not feel jealous but i don't think that's what's happening here it's a cat this is something else he doesn't need to like work on his himself in order to not feel insecure when his cat goes into the neighbor's yard Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he, That's he totally crazy. has to. Are you kidding? If you're so like, why can't you just talk to the neighbor and be like, hey, don't uh, hurt him. That's it. <laughs> what do you want him to do? I you mean, think this is reasonable? All right, let's play the rest no, of the of clip and see reasonable. if it's reasonable. What? She's a cat. She doesn't speak English. It's a cat, dude. Really? Okay. All right. Well, we'll have the police department figure it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the yeah cops this is are a crazy come. man with toxoplasma toxoplasmosis what is toxoplasmosis that's the thing that almost all of us have that cats it's a parasite that cats oh, get yeah. into our brains so that we love them and it makes us kinky <laughs> what you didn't know that no yeah they, there's a there's a high correlation Explains between having that so much um, <laughs> Between having that parasite and uh-huh. her growing up with cats uh-huh. and uh, having like wild kinks, like wild like sexual kinks. There must have been cats in my crib as I grew yeah. up. <laughs> well, it's like, so they think it has, it's in their, in their feces. In their feces so yeah. they're recommending the kids under the age of like 12 don't uh, scoop cat litter. I scooped all the cat litter. And I also played it. in what I thought was a fun sandbox with clay outside. <laughs> <laughs> And I molded some really cool figurines. Oh my God. And slowly, I discovered it myself. I just kind of thought about it for a little while. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but I made some pretty cool things. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> they, let, they just let me outside as a kid. They were like, go do whatever. You had a real old timey upbringing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great idea. Right, you cat pervert. Cat pervert? Is that just called him a cat pervert. Cat pervert? I have done. I've done nothing to bring the cat. I've done nothing to bring the. I want to go out. I want that neighbor because I'd be like, I totally get it. I'm gonna send her home every time she comes over. You have to play into his crazy. You can't just be like, what? (laughs) <laughs> you have to be I like, like yes. how his wife started yelling at him <laughs> That's great I think the next time you find a cat at like bodegas mm-hmm. Or something like that I'm just going to start filming and be like Cat pervert <laughs> Cat pervert <laughs> Send us your pictures and uh, of your cats yeah. And uh, tell us how you're a cat pervert Yeah make sure the cat's posing provocatively too Yeah I'm going to turn this way down Because I'm okay. afraid the next one will uh, Just blow my tits off like if my cat was like there was a cat in my neighborhood that just chose a different owner yeah and that was not that other person's cat anymore it was another person that got transferred hmm. everybody had to agree to it because the cat there's nothing you can do no you just the end of the relationship <laughs> yeah that was yeah a real slow cat burn. broke up <laughs> yeah so i wouldn't be able to take it <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to move <laughs> oh that's so funny you're like hey <laughs> yeah, the cat's looking at you from wow, the other lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, <laughs> that'd be brutal. That would be the worst kind of breakup. I can't they imagine would. a worse one. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a terrible, terrible breakup. You're like, what did I even do? And the cat's just like, yeah, some people and uh, animals just weren't meant for each other. <laughs> That's how it goes. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's open this bad boy up. I was sitting down by the pond watching the sunset, and then before I knew it, the sunset turned into just pure nighttime. It got pitch black. There were no lights on the path. I got really lost. Very. Have you ever been in Central Park at night? Yes. Have you gotten stuck there? Um, I would say maybe, yeah, like in the brambles, when you're like on those winding paths in the yeah. woods where, where gay men have sex, which is yes. good for them. But good like that's what them. makes that path feel safe to me at night. <laughs> Is because I can always it's just be so like, hey, dark. and there's two in the bushes having sex. Oh, the gay men. Yeah. Do you think they'd rescue you? Yes. Do you think they, they wouldn't just keep fucking and be like, oh, well, that bitch is getting killed? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only ones I trust, and that's why the brambles are fine at night in Central Park. And that is where I've been turned around for sure. It's very yeah. confusing. It's brutal. It's like you think like, oh, I'm in New York. Everything's going to be mm-hmm. bright. Mm-hmm. And like you can, in for the most part, see like the skyscrapers over there. Mm-hmm. But like we got, I got caught at dusk there and I was stuck in Central Park for like an hour and a half. <laughs> what? I couldn't get out. We were you like deep your phone? in there. I did have the phone, but I like didn't really know where I was like brand new to the city. I was oh, like, I don't know where yeah. to go. What is this? I just you don't know that you can just look at your map would and be then lit walk. up. Well, yeah. yeah, I would walk, but then there are those like winding <laughs> ones that like take you back around. I'm like, did uh-huh. I miss a turn? Like, uh-huh. where the fuck am I going? Yeah. I eventually got out on the side. Yeah, and like had to take it back. It's That's fucking your only terrifying. Hope. So this yeah. guy's sitting in that Central Park. It got dark. We we've been there. It's yes. not it's not a fun time. Especially after all that, you hear everything about like Central Park at night. That was always yeah. been the story, but it's mm-hmm. 2023. It's not really the case anymore. That's true. Mm-hmm. 
sort of like emerged from the darkness and was like, hey, I can show you the way. So I started filming so I wouldn't get kidnapped. <laughs> he was like, okay, take a right. If you pass the guy with the raccoons, you're going in the right direction. And yes. I didn't know what that meant until I, I started I seeing where all that these is. eyes reflecting. In I the know where that is. Flash. And I stumbled upon this guy feeding 60 raccoons. He was yes. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Just a guy on the audio. There are what? Just... It's got to be 30 records. Just glowing eyes. Just... I got to go to the park at night from now on. <laughs> I know where that is. I've taken pictures of raccoons there. They're just There's out and about. There's so many of them. I can't wait to go make friends with this guy and this raccoons. Yeah. It's not a date, though. <laughs> with the guy Feeding with the raccoons you. with the guy is not a date. <laughs> that's just that's just a raccoon guy who wanted a friend, mm -hmm. and you thought you could maybe mentor him on mm -hmm. how, to, how to best interact with <laughs> raccoons um, these are this is why i have weird friends <laughs> they are very cute they're so raccoons cute. get a bad rap do they're they just from like who they're butts with glowing eyes they're so cute in the midwest i don't know what it was but like they are kind of like varmint like they get in the trash oh yeah but like yeah but here we're like ah thing a beast oh, it's so cute yeah, yeah. in new york city it's a, just it's a novelty their little fingers are not uh Cute. I love their little hands. They're uh, they're creepy. I like them. They're funny. I think they're sweet. But they're not adorable. cute. But they're what if like they were like cute animal? If, if they it was a press paw, their little paws against no, your cheeks no, and then gave you a little had, nose boop. If they had cat paws, that'd be very cute. Mm, I think they have cute paws, and I think you're giving them a bad rap on their little hands. They have cute little hands. They're so small. There's raccoons everywhere. They were surrounding him. God, I've never seen this many raccoons in my entire life. And I started talking to him. Apparently he comes here every single night yes, and he does. goes to restaurants, gets their scraps of food from the day and then brings them so that the <laughs> raccoons have fresh food. Yes. I watched this man hand feed a baby raccoon pizza. Uh -huh. Your dream. It is my dream. Those hand restaurants feed. definitely think they're like helping a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> They and they think he's bringing it to the other homeless people. Uh -huh. They're like, oh, and he's like, Richard comes by. Yeah. The second time I've used Richard. Oh, Cornelius comes by and he takes all this food and he must be like bringing it back to the shelter. <laughs> they watch this video and they're like, son of a bitch, is that Cornelius? <laughs> Cornelius. Cornelius is a good raccoon. name. Raccoon. I was about to shorten raccoon and then I. Let's name all six of the raccoons really quick. That. Um, what's that tiny one's name? Brigadoon. What's that big one's name? Frap. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon hands. They would let him pet them. Oh god! Apparently they cute. all have names and different Shh. personalities. Oh, they already have names for years. It was honestly so cute. The raccoons were really nice and super friendly and they were really fun to like just watch crawling around. It's probably one of the more bizarre experiences so I've ever had. This other lady came over. They're friends. They feed the raccoons together. Uh, Half thought okay, that was he gonna already be you. has a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm wearing the same sweatshirt, just yeah. kind of bundled up a little bit What's more. What's Carmen do at night? Well, she goes on the abandoned train tracks and she walks all the way to Central Park where she pets raccoons with this strange man filled who has bags full of old pizza. <laughs> that is, if I were like shady in this relationship, it would be that's what you would find out. You're not shady in this relationship. I, you think I'm shady? No, there's uh, periods of time where nobody knows what you're doing or where you are. I'm in bed or feeding the raccoons allegedly, by the light of the moon. Allegedly. I'm going to call up Cornelius. <laughs> Was my girlfriend there again? And he's he's going to be like, are you here? Are you here? <laughs> Tell him no. Tell him no. It's like an old timey bar. It's like uh, yeah. the wife calls. Yeah, that's it's like, tell her, tell her. I'm Cut her here. off. I told her I left an hour ago. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> that's, yep. Raccoons are like misunderstood creatures and they're really cute and very friendly and they just like being loved. So I'm going to be nicer to raccoons from now on. Mm hmm. Yeah, they do like being from loved. From now on? From now on. <laughs> yeah, before he's like kicking them. <laughs> yeah. Just a when lot of hate you? speech. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, you burglar panda. <laughs> does sound like a racist thing to it say. Does. It does. Wow, so fun. You ready mm -hmm. for our last video? Yeah. It's more trivia. Okay. Oh, it's trivia. We're trying to guess the American thing again. Okay. We had so much fun on the first one. We did. But I also didn't get to play the first time because I already true. saw it. So this time, so this one I only seen. saw one answer. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so the I'll, first one. It's, it's not even... I saw the real answer for 
the first question, but I didn't see what Americans guessed. Okay. So I'm going to get that one right. So okay. I won't tell you. But um, then we'll we'll do like our guesses and talk it out. Okay. All right. You ready? Uh-huh. What percentage of Americans do you think live in Texas? How many, what percentage of Americans do you think live in Texas? For those of you that missed the first episode, this this kid found this study. We don't know where it is. We don't know if it's legit, but it's kind of fun for the sake of this podcast. It's, uh, I don't really care if it's accurate. The and some of them are, of like the first one was like, what percentage of people live in New York City? It's like, that's yeah. a math answer. We were able could, to answer that because You are able to knew. answer that one. Um, so the this whole state of tougher. Texas. Yeah. It's all demographic questions. So he asked us what, what percentage or what what the number actually is, but then he also tells us what Americans thought the number was. So we're trying to what guess some both. unknown group of polled Americans. Yes, we assume where are is, all. Yeah. I ancient. still want to know where he gets his data. Yeah, I, I don't really care. Okay, it's for my purposes. Uh, yeah, this is fun. It is fun. All right, what are your what are your numbers? What percentage of people live in Texas? This one's much harder. I have no idea. Um, in the whole state of Texas. In the whole state of Texas. I mean, is it something big like seven percent? I bet. Seven percent. Is that your is that your answer? I guess. And then, um, what percentage Americans guessed? I bet they I, guessed like twenty. Yeah, I was gonna guess twenty. Yeah. Okay, so seven and then twenty you for guess? both of us. Oh, you don't. You. Do, I know you, the first you one. You saw it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. The actual answer is nine percent. The okay. people in this study said they thought it was thirty percent. Oh, oh man. All Should right, so nine percent. You were okay. close. You said yeah. seven. Yeah, that's, that's not about bad. right. About a one tenth of people live in like the fifth biggest state. That's so many. Or no, the that's third, a lot. Third biggest state. Nine percent. Yeah. That is a lot. Mm-hmm. 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 That's why they should get to decide who the president is by themselves. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Thirty percent's <clears throat> really high. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't even think Americans were that dumb. They are that dumb. Because that the last sense. one was like, how many people do you think live in New York? So they were like 30%. Yeah. So they think New York so is they 30. Think it's just they think New York Texas, Texas is 30. They think probably California is 40. And yeah, then yeah, that's yeah. it. Everyone lives in one of those three states. <laughs> do you think they, as they answered those, they like did the math in their head? They were A like, bit, whoa, yeah. wait, should I go back and correct New York if Texas is 30? And they're Too like, late. two thirds of people live in New York and Texas. <laughs> All right, next question. If that were the case, there would be 100 million people living in Texas. That's a lot of people. What percentage of Americans do you think own a passport? Own a passport. Own a passport. I'm going to guess, I mean, I know it's a low number that have traveled outside of the country, Mm -hmm. except for Canada. You don't need a passport to go to Canada. Um, You don't anymore? Like right now you don't? No, you never do. You just get an enhanced license. Oh, okay. But she can just get at the DMV, which like Northerners know that, but Southerners don't really. Ever I should need know that. To. I thought they changed it after nine eleven. Um, they did. Now you need the special driver's license. But gotcha. You could, just, like, you get could it use the there. driver's license yeah. before. Right. Um, okay. Fun fact: If you get a DUI in the United States, they do not let you into Canada. If you get a DUI in the United States, correct. Do they know every state? They have all the stats on that. They have all the criminal records. Ooh, if you have my a criminal dad record, cannot you can't get into, get into uh, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> he also can't because he has a DUI in Canada, and well, he was just like, it. "I just won't go back to Canada." That's what my friend's dad did. <laughs> yeah, we learned that in high school. So mm-hmm. it's our favorite thing to make mm-hmm. fun of Johnny and just be like, "Yeah, Johnny's dad not allowed in Canada. He's banned <laughs> from Canada." That's such a good reason. So to funny. Be banned. Um, not I'm a good reason guess to be banned. That's not that. Thirty-five uh, percent mm. of people own a passport. Ooh, I'm going to guess it's more like your answer is influencing me. Oh. I'm going to go because these are children as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm going as low as 20. 20 percent. And for Americans, I think Americans think it's like 5 percent. Ooh, I wonder what they think. Oh, man, I don't know. I could go in either direction. Own a passport. <laughs> I'm just going to go 2020. 2020. I have no idea. The real answer is just 37%. Oh, oh that's high. Study, so What'd you 45%. guess, 35? 35, that's 45. They guessed 45? Oh, shit. I was on for the real answer, and I underestimated it's how it could much. go either way. I have I no know. idea what people would guess. Yeah. I, 40, I don't know why. Why do they think that everyone high. owns a passport? But this isn't even off by that much. No. 37 people? 
37 percent 37 whole people in the united states have a passport yeah that makes sense everybody in new york's got one yeah yeah i guess i'm forgetting about like everybody who moved here from another country that's a lot of people that's true it's a lot of people crazy low compared to somewhere like the uk where over 86 percent of people have a passport yeah well what percentage you live next to a thousand different places right if we had to get a passport to go to fucking like Indiana, Pennsylvania yeah. or New Jersey, then yeah, everyone yeah. would have one. But like you literally spend 40 minutes on a train, you're in another country. Mm-hmm. Like, Jesus Christ, this kid's a hack. <laughs> Do you think identify as an atheist? As an atheist? Percentage of Americans, I feel like I have read the stat. Ooh, what's your guess? Because I keep atheist. influencing you. Well, atheist too atheist. is so specific and a lot of people don't know what that means. So it is actually really low because a lot of people are agnostic. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people, the people that are atheists know what atheist is. Yeah. But then, you know, there's, there's a, if you ask how many Christians there was, which you'll probably get to it in the, like, mm-hmm. um, in the Americans guess. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm going to say. Many, many you think? 5%. 5%. Five percent, and then atheists. I'm going to say that people guess that it's forty percent. Okay, no, I'm, thirty-five. Thirty-five. I'm going to guess that it is twelve uh, percent that are atheist, and sixty-three percent that th- like the, what Americans the, think it is. Yeah. I think there's a lot of like super religious right people that think that, that everyone's think that a fucking is, atheist. Yeah. I think I guess too low. The actual answer is 3%. Oh, I didn't oh, guess too low. Oh, you nailed it. I was way too high. Look at that. Just way lower than I would have thought. The people in this study said 30%. Oh, man. I was so f- high oh, yeah. on both of those. <laughs> what was your ag- American guess? Um, 35. Oh, look at you. Thanks. You nailed that one. And finally, what percentage of Americans do you think have a household income of over half a million dollars a year? Half a million dollars a year. Did they do this one before, but with no, a million? No, it was millionaires before. Yeah, so yes, it was millionaires uh, before. And I can't remember what that was at all. That was like 0.01% House, or household, something. Household, half a million or household. more. Household. So this is yeah, again, yeah, it's gonna 500K. Be, that was like 0.01. This is probably like 0.03. I'm going <laughs> to guess that this is um, uh, 2, 2%. Two mm. Household income, 500K. Mm-hmm. Two percent. Oh, wait, we, we, did, we didn't guess. What oh, the think American it is. guess. Um, mm. Well, the million was twenty percent. I was just about to guess twenty again. Then okay, then I'll guess lower. No higher. Higher. Oh, then thirty-five. I'm gonna guess forty. Okay. Yeah. The real answer is obviously very low, at just one percent. Okay. The yeah. Americans in this study estimated it to be twenty-six percent. Wait, so- how they guess? Just higher. So it was twenty percent for millionaires and okay. then twenty six percent for half a million okay. dollars. Okay. Which okay. is wild because it makes it sound like that half a million is like really hard to get to, but then million, once you get the half a million, is super easy. Uh-huh. Which like actually in our current economic system it kinda is. <laughs> it shouldn't be. <laughs> what shouldn't what? You shouldn't like once you hit half a million dollars oh it becomes really easy it shouldn't to make be money. super easy to just immediately hit a million mm-hmm. but once you have half a million once dollars you, money, you just put it in the stock market it turns into a million money makes dollars. money yeah. money begets money money begets money there's no more there is no more that's it there's space oh, yeah fuck. it's just him rambling being british just a little british boy being british being a little british boy. you know all right i guess the british people can listen it's not the worst <laughs> thing that's ever happened <laughs> <laughs> that's our episode that's our episode that's our episode that's in cahoots that's in cahoots, in cahoots. we've been Corey in, and in cahoots. cahoots where can people find you they can find me at Carms coming out on 11 2 <laughs> the first monday of november no not monday first thursday of november okay yeah we've got denver yes and we'll fort collins at fort collins comedy club yes on the 8th and 9th mm-hmm. or is that the 9th and 10th I think we're in Denver Ooh, on the 8th. It's Friday, Saturday. Denver, Thursday. Denver. Fort Collins, Friday, Saturday. Denver, the 9th, Thursday at the Don't Tell okay. comedy show. Oh, we're doing Don't Tell. Mm-hmm. Ooh, 
Ooh. And then the 10th and 11th at Fort Collins Comedy Club in Fort Collins, Colorado. And the 12th in Boulder. I still didn't look up Boulder. the actual venue. Whoopsie oh, it's sun- Sunday the 12th Sunday the 12th Boulder. we are in Boulder. Okay. And um, at Instagrams on Instagram. Yeah. That's the only one I think I want to plug. Yeah. I mean, I'm on threads. <laughs> I mean, it's just plug. It's I'm all. I'm on TikTok, but I yeah. don't. I will. Is it Carmen? Post. Carmen the Gala comedy on everything else? I think so. Carmen Instagrams and then Carmen the Gala comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, the podcast is in cahoots podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, on Our everything. Email. Reddit. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. It's something different on everything. What is it on Reddit? No, it's in cahoots podcast. Okay. The only difference is the email. The email okay. is in cahoots cc no, at gmail.com. One of the socials is different. Oh my God. Because we could only get in cahoots pod, I think, on something. This is such a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it in cahoots, you're going to see our cute little faces. Yeah. Just our little faces. Just we look for little, cute faces. Uh, thing there. The intro. People, we have an intro. I want to give credit to intro guy. Yeah. People... People have asked, or they would have, if this episode had come out since the first one. <laughs> People <laughs> is, will uh, ask. It's such a good, such a it's good. It's such bop. a good. It's a bop. It's, it's so perfect. good. We heard it. Um, we were, I was like, that needs to be our podcast I, yeah. intro song. And then you actually messaged him, and he actually agreed. Yeah, sent him sixty bucks. We didn't steal it. We didn't steal it from him. He agreed. <laughs> no, I have the we'll email. Plug it into perpetuity. We're, we're gonna get this man so much work. I want him to be famous. Mm-hmm. It's. Uh, people on TikTok are calling it frog music, which I can't unhear or see. <laughs> uh, his name is E W I Eddie on TikTok. E-W-I Go check him out. He's got Eddie. this weird. He like blows into it. He, it's uh, electronic wind instrument Eddie, and he like plugs it into like ninety five different uh, plugs and zoops and zaps and <laughs> whatever. And it comes up with this funky beat. Mm-hmm. So go, go give him a, a listen, give him a follow for us. Mm-hmm. Tell him you're within cahoots. I'm sure he'll love it. Um, <laughs> he'll be like, what the hell is that? He no, he remember. He was like, send me the podcast. So I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry to make you suffer. Uh, it's, but yeah. And then he didn't, he, we, we put in the other stuff for the intro, but the music, go check out EWI mm-hmm. Eddie. And, um, We'll see uh, in, see everyone next week. Wait, plug your stuff and then in cahoots podcast cc at gmail. In cahoots cc in, at gmail.com. Oh my God. My my stuff is C, uh, Corey T Comedy on all social media because I'm responsible and I know how this <laughs> shit works. No, it's because you put a T in the middle. <laughs> Corey T Comedy. <laughs> What's the T for? My name. It makes sense. It's going to ring to it. Corey T Comedy. That's true. Um, and then I have Ope, a comedy show every single week, mm-hmm. mostly mm-hmm. at Ferns mm-hmm. in the East Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are not there Tuesday the 2nd, Thursday the 2nd. We're not there Thursday the 2nd, but we are there Thursday the 9th through the rest of the year, assuming there are no uh, parties, and, parties and whatnot. But it's very fun. It's a different. Mm-hmm. Carmen does it all the time. Such a fun um, show. Yeah. It's, it's, you get a free drink with every ticket. So mm-hmm. come on down. <laughs> All right, how are we, we signing to do our off real again? voices again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thanks so much for listening to our podcast. We really appreciate you doing the part, listening to our podcast. Oh, f- thanks for being in, in cahoots. cahoots.